Hi everybody, my name's Dave Whipple and you're watching Bush Radical. Oh, look at this old car, man. Although this car runs great, it's been maintained well, the paint is just coming apart. And let me show you what I'm talking about. For starters, that's a replacement fender. And you can see that's starting to get kind of rusty. Let's take a look at the hood. You can see that this hood is just scratched and dinged and dented. This car is nothing but scratches from one end to the next. When I bought this car, it had 53,000 miles on it, and now it has almost 250. I've driven it from the States to Alaska to Alaska to the States probably half a dozen times. It gets like 35 miles to the gallon. It's comfortable. I understand all the mechanics of it. I don't know why I would want to replace it, but it's getting to the point where it needs a little bit of work. So today, today we're going to paint it. So when it comes to painting a vehicle, what you need to do is you need to prep all the surfaces, sand everything down, clean everything, tape everything off, get in a controlled environment, put a coat of primer on the vehicle, put three or four coats of paint on. You need a coat of clear coat on it. But honestly, this is a $700 car at this point. There's no way I'm gonna put any real money into this thing. And what do I want? Do I want the best paint job money can buy? Or do I want bare metal covered up and everything one color? so that salt and water and stuff don't actually touch the metal. That's what I want. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna roll this car. And for $20, we're gonna have a new paint job. Okay, these are the things you need. A can of Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. A jar of acetone. You need one of these hot dog sized foam rollers. And a little roller bar that goes with it. You're gonna need a paint tray, a couple pieces of sandpaper, and a pair of gloves. Now this ain't my first rodeo. I've painted four vehicles in the past. The first truck I painted, I used a house sprayer and it was an absolute disaster. Second vehicle I painted was, uh, was a 78 Volkswagen Rabbit and I painted it with a dozen rattle cans and it turned out a pretty decent job. Third vehicle I painted was an F-150 and I painted it with a roller and black Rust-Oleum and it turned out just the way I wanted it to. Not only did rolling Rust-Oleum on a truck right out of the can produce a good result. It was just what I wanted, but it was also the cheapest way to do it that I'd found. So that's what we're gonna do with this old Escort station wagon. We're gonna roll on the paint, but first we gotta prep the surfaces. So basically all I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna rough up this whole area. I'm gonna knock off all the scale I can. I'm gonna wipe the whole thing down with acetone to get it as clean as I can get it. And then it's gonna get rolled. And I'm not gonna fuss with it, because I mean, this is a $700 car and it's gonna be a $20 paint job. And it's gonna be better when we're done than when we start. And isn't that the point? It's an old fender, it's rusty. If it rusts through in a couple years, I'll throw another fender on it. As long as I can keep this car running, it's what I intend to do. You know, I don't think of it like a car so much. I think of it like a motorcycle you can sleep in. Masking it off, you say? No, we're not gonna mask it off. We're just gonna paint it. If we get a little paint on some glass, I'll take it off with a razor blade afterwards. I'm just not gonna worry too much about it. This paint is in bad condition. Anything we do is gonna be an improvement. You know, all over the country, there's rusty old vehicles and people drive around with, with a car that's got four different color panels on it. I don't think there's any reason to go that route. Just pick a sunny day, go out in your yard, and paint it yourself. People get kind of down about their vehicles when they get to a certain age. and They're like, you know what, I'm, I don't really want to take this somewhere and people laugh at how bad my vehicle is. If it's a a question of having a vehicle that's got four different color panels on it or a vehicle that's got a, a modest paint job that you did yourself, no one's gonna know that you did it yourself. Someone that's got a vehicle that's in rough shape, it's kind of a social stigma, you know, because it's ugly or it's mismatched. There's no reason for that. Make it all one color. No one's gonna know that you did it yourself. I must have done a lot of two-tracking with this thing over the years because it's got scratches where it should never have scratches. 
I tell you what though, this has been one wonderful car for me. I've got several trucks I use for concrete work. Got a four wheel drive extended cab. Got a two wheel drive single cab. But you know what? I'd rather jump in this guy. It's so cheap to run. It's so zippy. I can park it anywhere. It's just a very user friendly car. Okay, so all the prep work is done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe the vehicle down with acetone, get all the panels nice and cleaned up. So what kind of a rag do you use for this? I think you should use the t-shirt that you like the least. Personally, I'm sick of this one. So all I've really tried to do here is get a surface that's clean, that new paint is gonna like to stick to, hopefully. Now for the prep work, let's rock the Casbah. Oh yeah. You're gonna need to paint a piece of equipment or your favorite station wagon. This stuff's awesome. Now like so many things today, in this day and age, I could tell you there's a special way to go about it or to contact somebody who knows what they're doing and have them walk you through it but uh, we're just painting an old car we're not building a bridge You know what we got here? We got a nice coat of industrial quality black paint over top of a, a worn out old factory job. Nothing wrong with that at all. Well, that hood ain't perfect, but it's way better than it was. Now let's take care of this grody fender. Oh, it's already such a happier car. You get a lot of bubbles in the paint. Once you get it rolled on good, you kinda, kinda gotta back roll it a little bit. Now you'll notice I'm not taping anything off. This isn't that kind of job. Well, you guys can see, getting up underneath this wheel well, very important. You always got to keep in mind whether it's an old pickup truck or an old lawnmower or an old something or other, it's probably just happy to get a little bit of fresh paint and a little bit of love. Now isn't that so much nicer? Keep this party going. You know, the world is absolutely full of people who want to tell you the right way to do everything. This is the correct way to do this. This is the, this is the proper way to do that. You know, the truth is, I'm not that guy. I'm the guy who's going to tell you, you do it the way it serves you best. Is this paint job as good as a $1,500 paint job from a, a body shop? Heck no, it ain't even close. But it's doing exactly what I want it to do. And I'm having a good time. Win-win. I think as a people, we're just cornered by experts. If somebody's an, an expert or claims they're an expert in something, then they, then they have the authoritative high ground. This is the right way to do this. This is the only proper way to do that. I think there's lots and lots of ways to skin a cat or paint a station wagon. If there's one thing I would like to do with my time here online, 
I'd like to be the voice that says you don't have to conform. You don't have to do it the way people tell you you need to do it. If there's a way to do anything that works and it suits your needs better, do it that way. You hit it real lightly like that, knock all those air bubbles out. That's the ticket. Check out my new ride. You probably have noticed I haven't taped anything off. I probably should, but I just, it's just not in my nature. This is an important part. Definitely don't want to paint over your taillights. That'd be bad. Look at that happy little gas cap. I used to love it as a kid watching Bob Ross paint. Of course he didn't paint cars with a roller, but he was just a fun dude. Big old funky afro, always painting happy trees. I liked that guy, he was a good dude. Taught people that having fun doing something was more important than the so-called right way to do it. I've met painters that <laughs> don't have a good thing to say about Bob Ross, you know, he was, he wasn't, he didn't do it the proper way, the way the masters did it, with the base coats and all that garbage. But you know what? Bob Ross in my book was the king, because he showed people that they didn't have to do it that way, that it was better to have fun at it than it was to conform to what you were supposed to do. After all, it's art, right? I should have known I was just going to end up painting my camera all day. Every time I try to move it, I paint it with my hand. Paint it with my glove. When's the best time to paint a quarter million mile escort? Anytime. Now this is definitely not going to be the only video in the internet about painting a, a car with a roller. I didn't come up with this idea. I read about it years ago. I thought, hey man, that sounds like fun. This old car has been through the ringer, but it's my buddy. We've done lots and lots of traveling. Don't want a different one. I just want this one to look better. I could either clean off paint for two minutes with acetone when I'm done, or spend two hours taping this whole stupid thing up. I'm just not gonna do that. Lovely. Take a look at that. You can sure see the difference between the old and the new. The old doesn't really even know what color it is. It's blue and black, and speckled, and there's primer showing through it. It's a little bit of everything. I gotta say, I do enjoy painting like this. I really do. It's just kind of fun to get out in the yard, paint your car. Paint the best. Better than it was. Just really ain't much to talk about anymore. Pretty much covered why I'm doing this, how I'm doing this, what I'm doing. I think the only thing left to do is just shut up and paint. Doesn't really matter what it is you're doing. It's not the thing that interests me as much as it is the, the idea behind it. Doesn't matter what it is. I like the idea behind painting your own car because it's just a freeing thing. You don't have to have an old vehicle that's, you know, got six different colors on it. And you don't have to save up and have somebody paint it. To do stuff yourself is freeing. Oh, look at that. Look at that brand new beauty. Look at that shiny new car. Oh, 
What a sexy paint job. Whew. Just a little bit more to do and it's pretty much done. Well, everybody, that's it. Total cost, about 17 bucks. About five bucks for the little roller tray packet. About nine bucks for the paint. I think I spent two bucks for the gloves. And the sandpaper and acetone, they were in the garage, so it was a freebie on that. Not the world's greatest paint job. Not the world's worst paint job. Way better than a rattle can job you're gonna find in a high school parking lot. This is a good thick coat of machine grade paint. Does it look like a professional painted this thing? No. Does it look like an idiot painted it? No, not really. It's a good middle of the road paint job done by somebody who doesn't want to spend a ton of money. If you know a way to paint a vehicle cheaper than this, write it all out on a $20 bill and send it to me because I'd like to know. Not too bad. Oh, uh, you remember what that fender looked like when we started? All rusty and nasty. How about that roof? No more scratches and gouges. How about that hood? No nicks and dings and scratches and cat prints and everything else. It's just one color. If you got anything to add, any comments or, or tips and tricks about this sort of thing that you want to share with everybody else, just type on the comments below. And I sure appreciate your subs, your support. I like all the comments. It's just loads of fun. Thanks for watching Bush Radical. My name's Dave Whipple. Be radical, eh? See you soon.